Hey, Julie? Yeah. We're doing the sound now, okay? Yeah. Let me know when you just start to feel it. This is a big day for Julie Williams. Pain medicine specialist Dr. David Mock is implanting a device into her spine. The goal is to reduce chronic, debilitating pain. I'd had a back surgery when I was 25 for a disc, and I had pain down my left leg at that time. The pain went away until about a year ago. It was down my left leg into my left foot, and it was, gosh, sometimes 9 out of 10, burning, um, mainly a burning pain. Julie's pain got so bad it interfered with work as a physician's assistant. Medication only masked it. The pain was wrecking her quality of life. So this is uh, what a device might look like. Dr. Mock says the spine stimulator emits electrical impulses. Think of it as a pacemaker for the spine is probably the simplest way they can look at that. During the procedure, he and his team first place a temporary device at the level of the spinal cord where the nerves are that generate the pain. It gives off small electrical signals that mute what patients feel. Instead of pain, they feel a pleasant buzzing sensation in the affected area. Where do you feel that? To make sure it's in the right place, the surgical team briefly wakes up the patient. They woke me up and I could feel that it was affecting the area that was painful and uh, so then I, you know, they sewed up the incisions and um, took me to the recovery room. If they get good relief, and that typically means 50 to 80 percent improvement, then we can come back at a later date and put this in permanently. Can I talk to you about a patient? Sure. Julie has had her permanent device implanted for some time now, and she says she feels great. And honestly, it's so weird because I'll, I forget about it. I forgot how bad the pain is, and then all of a sudden I'll remember, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So I'm not just saying this for the camera, it's the truth. Julie still feels pain sometimes in her hip or leg, but it is much, much less than what she experienced before. And if it bothers her, she can turn up the amount of stimulation, which decreases the pain. I'd say between 80 and 90 percent of the pain is gone. Now she's back at work and back at life. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.